This is the Kalash RK-12, made by D-Boys. It's a customized AK-74U, also known as a Krinkov. It should be noted that Krinkov is an American nickname, coined by a reporter. The Russian military's nickname for the AK-74U is a Kurik, or cigarette stub. The 74U is a compact version of the AK-74, developed for the Spetsnaz Special Forces, Airborne Infantry, Rear Echelon Support Units, and Armored Vehicle Crews. This compact AG comes in a surprisingly small box, with an 8.4 volt stick battery, dumb charger, 600 round waffle magazine, strap, and cleaning rod. Like higher-end AK-74s, the RK-12 has an all-metal body with a realistic-looking pebbled finish and stamped Russian markings. Like the real steel, the RK-12 uses holding pins rather than screws for the receiver body and has a metal optics rail. It has an AKM-style solid folding stock with a release button on the left side of the receiver. The stock folds firmly without any wobble. There is a second release button located in the butt pad to extend the stock. The solid stock has a cutaway for the optics rail. The selector is located in the right hand side of the receiver, safe in the top position, full auto in the middle, and semi or rifle mode in the bottom position. The cocking handle pulls back to reveal a Tokyo Marui style AK hop up. Unlike standard AK leaf sights, the 74U has flip up rear sights with selectable 400 meter and CQB profiles. The front side post is adjustable. Another unique feature to the Real Steel 74U is the hinged dust cover. It reveals the battery compartment with an H style automotive fuse. There's ample room for a 9.6 volt or even a 10.8 volt stick battery. Now for the oddball features. The RK-12 comes with an AK-47 style magazine, but it really should be an AK-74 magazine, which are compatible with this AAG. It has a Noveski style flash hider, polymer furniture, and a solid folding stock. All these are features of a civilian aftermarket custom weapon. The cone-shaped muzzle of the Noveski style flash hider makes your AEG sound slightly louder when fired, and thus is a favorite accessory among airsofters. It comes standard with the RK-12, it's a bonus, but it has an obnoxiously large orange tip, which can be removed with some work. Our AEG was firing 370 FPS, which is very good for a short-barreled AEG, and more than good enough to use in outdoor fields. D-Boy's gearboxes have been fairly reliable, or at least as reliable as JG and Simon. Unlike other AEG makers, D-Boys has chosen to concentrate on making AK-74s. This new AK is realistic and well built, and while not military issue, for those who like to customize and pimp out their weapons, this Krinkov is for you. There are